Hey there, just another quick update on uh, what's going on. One of the things I've wanted to test for a while and a couple people have asked about has been the idle power consumption of my Ames inverter. So I'm going to do two quick comparisons between the current reliable power uh, branded inverter I have and the new Ames inverter. To begin, I'll make sure the solar is shut off so nothing is charging the battery. You'll see in my BMS software you can see the voltage, the current amount of amps being drawn from the battery, and the current amount of watts being drawn from the battery. Uh, currently it says there is 0.3 watts going in. I'm going to guess there's probably a capacitor somewhere that's discharging. I'm going to flip on the reliable power inverter with no load connected. You'll see it's up to 123 volts. And the batrium is showing it pulling between 0 and 8 watts idle power. Um, it's kind of interesting. I'm going to guess it's probably pulsing on and off waiting for a load to be connected. And also I don't think there's a transformer in that inverter. I think it's a solid state. Maybe transistors or something. I'm not quite sure how it works. So what I'm going to do is I have two fans, a box fan and a, a pedestal fan. I'm going to plug both into the reliable power inverter and see how much power it's being pulled. Alright, so I have both fans plugged in. Uh, I'm sure you can hear them. And they're pulling about between 130 to 150 watts from the battery bank. So what I'm going to do now is turn off the reliable power inverter and turn on the Ames inverter, plugging in the same fans and seeing what the difference is. So I'll flip it on. All right, it's running. And this is the part that concerns me. As you can see, it's idling with no load plugged in and it's consuming between 170 to 180 watts of power. There's no fans running, nothing. So I'm not really sure where that power is being used. I assume there's some losses because of the transformer. Uh, the unit itself weighs about 150 pounds, so there is a pretty bulky transformer in there. So what I'm wondering is if I put a load on the inverter, if it's going to uh, if the amount of power being consumed by the inverter is going to decrease with a load on versus while it's idle. So because this is a split phase inverter, the way I have this wired for testing, um, I wanted to put a, a load on both legs. So I just have this outlet connected temporarily. Two hots coming, uh, two hots coming out, leg one, leg two, and the neutrals coming out. This will be wired correctly. I only connected it this way for testing temporarily. Uh, so I'll begin by turning the breaker on for the power. So both of those fans are now running on the Ames inverter and you'll see it's pulling about 295, 293 watts of power. So after taking a minute to do some maths, that comes out to 150 watts. So it is 20 watts less than what it's pulling when it's idling, but it's still using a substantial amount of power uh, for the inverter to run. That is disappointing. That extra 150 watts comes out to 3.6 kilowatts of power wasted per day just to run this inverter. Um, the only thing I can hope is that maybe adding more solar panels will offset some of that, but uh, yeah, I don't know. That's just a lot of power wasted in idle consumption and consumption by the inverter. So I'll just have to run it as is for a couple of days and go from there and, and see how it works, I guess. So one last thing I wanted to test before I go is putting a heavier load on it uh, to see if that makes any difference. Um, it's kind of difficult to test considering my reliable power inverter is only rated for 1500 watts. So I can't really put a heavy load on that and then compare the heavy load to the Ames inverter. So the best thing I can come up with is my shop vac. So I have it plugged in the reliable power inverter right now. I'm going to flip it on and see how many watts it consumes. So it's pulling about a thousand watts. We'll say one kilowatt just for comparison's sake. Now I'll shut it off and switch to the Ames inverter and see what the difference is. Keep in mind that this uh, load is only on one leg, so there's no load on the second leg. In terms of transformer efficiency, I'm not sure how much of a difference that makes. Interesting. With the heavier load, the 1000 watts is the same on the shop vac as on the Ames inverter. That's kind of surprising. I'm going to test it one more time just to make sure those results are accurate. So you'll see here it's currently running on the Ames inverter on one of the two legs and it's pulling 992 to about 1000 watts of power and turning on the reliable power inverter. The same amount of power. 
It'd be interesting to look at the uh, efficiency ratings between the two inverters on a graph. Um, I'm not sure if that's readily available from both manufacturers, but after doing this test, I'm actually feeling a lot better about it. I was really disappointed at the last test. Um, it is unfortunate, though, because my static load on the inverter is probably going to be about two to 300 watts, uh, maybe 400 as I add more stuff to it, but still going to be a lot of loss there at the low end of the spectrum. Anyway, if anybody has any comments on this, maybe somebody else knows more about how these inverters work than I do, uh, feel free to leave them below. I'd be curious to see what you have to say. So one thing I didn't mention, which is important to comparing uh, how much power is being pulled, is the amount of power actually being used by the uh, shop vac after the inverter. So I came out here with my clamp meter real quick, and it's measuring 7.12 amps. Uh, so if you do some quick maths, that comes out to 861 watts. 990 minus 861, you come out to 130 watts that the inverter is consuming. Um, now that 130 watts is the same whether you're using the Ames inverter or the reliable power inverter. Uh, so I do feel I do still feel pretty good about it. I mean, it, op optimally it'd be close to zero as possible, but uh, that's just the way it is. So uh, 861 divided by 990 gives you a, gives you an efficiency rating of 86.9 percent. Um, again, not bad in my opinion, but uh, I'd also love to hear your feedback as well because I don't have much experience with inverters and I'd like to have something to compare it to.